What is up my ninjas, Dark Frog Ninja here. It's that time. The day is the day. Wow. <laughs> uh, sorry, they're flipping out because it just started misting and this is the first time they've been in here since it's misted. So the two new acquisitions are eating. I put them in uh, maybe about 45 minutes ago. Um, there's been no signs of aggression, no signs of any kind of uh, issues. I fed them, I dumped in a ton of flies, they cleaned it up. Um, and now, like I said, this is the first time they've actually been in here when it's misted. And, wow, what do you know? Uh, a few points of interest here is the one that was dominant right there, this one, the one that was dominant inside the quarantine vivarium, might actually be a male um, within probably about 15 minutes of being in the biopod sitting in this nut pod started calling started um it was low throat puffed out a little bit um so uh there you, there you go right there throat puffed out a little bit um you know made the normal call that to do um so, you know, it could be a female because females do vocalize. So, I, you know, it could very well just be a female. Um, and I'm noticing right now I'm getting a great shot. This is a crystal clear, high def shot of this uh, of this one. So it could be a male. It's still too early to tell. Um, typically with the phylobates, uh, phylobates, however you want to say it, heard it both ways. Um, typically, it takes around two years to fully. But here's a good shot right here. You can see that is Constantine in the back that just jumped in. Look at the diff size difference. So these frogs that I just acquired definitely are not adults. They're sub-adults. Um, I guess, like I said, my guess would be about 19 months old maybe. Um, and then here's the speckles up here. The, but they all, they, they're doing well. They, uh, like I said, they're jumping around, enjoying their time in here. Um, I'm back to having the Frogtastic 4. It's just unfortunately now, it might be two males, two females. Could be three males, one female. Um, it's really up in the air. So uh, I really don't know as far as uh, the ratio yet. But uh, like I said, this one right here is looking like it could possibly be a male. And that was the more dominant of the two in the tank anyways. So, um, like I said, moved them in. I'm, I'm gonna watch, make sure there's no tank aggression, no signs of dominating, no uh, bullying, anything like that. I don't think there will be. Uh, typically with the phylobates, um, they don't show really any signs of aggression other outside of um, females eating each other's eggs. Um, but there's always, you know, cases here or there that it could, it's possible and they could end up battling each other but uh, and then here's another great shot that said in the back compared to um, one of the new ones the possible male so you can see how much more massive she is than him so again that's a five-year-old frog back there uh, that's a five-year-old frog right there this is probably a 19 18 19 months um, so um, you know we'll see but they're back to being the frogtastic for They've eaten together, they've explored, they've been uh, kind of just jumping around, staying around each other. They freak each other out when they jump. Uh, the, two new, the two newer ones are very active, so they like to try and jump and climb. And one of them tried to jump and ends up hitting the, the wall and uh, fell and hit Zed. Zed just kind of hopped away, but um, there you go. There's one making its way inside the log. Sorry about the dirty glass. This is where they like to butt up against when they're hungry. They like to come to the front. I just feed them today. Today really isn't typical of feeding day, um, but I won't be around tomorrow to do most of this stuff. So I had to do a lot of my Friday activities today. So, but uh, yeah, they're in here. They're doing well. Um, here's some flies over here that I dumped out over here because I thought maybe I, there might be issues come uh, feeding time, but they all came to the centralized spot and they all ate together. So I guess there's no issues there. I would open the glass up, but they're jumpy and I have to give them time to figure out 
you know, the dimensions of the tank to figure out uh, where they can go. Um, and then they really need to know that they're in here with two other frogs, so. And so far, so, so far, so good. No problems. Again, there's these three. Uh, and there's the speckles. She's, uh, this one, if it's a female, I am kind of watching. It does seem a bit more timid, which is how my females typically acted um, that I had. They were a bit more timid than the males. Um, so this is a possibility that this one could still be a, a female. Uh, I might be back to a two and two ratio, which would be great because that's what I started with. Um, no black throat on this one, but the other one doesn't really have a black throat either. It has a black line, so it's a possibility again. They're still too young to be fully sexually matured and sexually uh, to be um, kind of as far as figuring out what sex they are. It still can't do it. And there's Constantine with a fly on his back, and I think he was trying to figure out how to get to it. But there you go, guys. The Frogtastic Four is back at you. Kind of, if you're a comic book nerd, it's kind of funny because that's they're bringing back the Fantastic Four um, in comic in comics again and as well as bringing them back <laughs> in um, the movies probably within the next couple of years so Rocktastic 4 is back I'm pretty happy we'll see what happens I'll keep it updated if anything goes wrong or if uh, you get eggs or whatnot but uh, yeah we'll see all right guys this is Dart Frog Ninja with the update checking in that I moved the two new frogs into the enclosure with my existing ones and there you have it. Dark Frog Ninja saying, Frog on. <laughs>